In this video, you'll see an XP farming strategy that will get you a level per hour, even if you're six levels above all the main quests. You get 40 XP for every Axie dialogue, regardless of your level. If you're more than six levels above your quests, you get no XP, like one XP instead of a thousand. So it's pretty much impossible to get more than five levels above the main quests unless you have XP farming strategies. And you can't really kill monsters or men because you only get 2 XP per kill. So perhaps you want to get to level 70 in one playthrough, you have to XP farm. This is the easiest way to do it. Or perhaps you'd like to have level 100 Witcher gear. Well, you need to get to level 60, which is pretty much impossible without XP farming. The strategy, you have to save the Hattori quest swords and dumplings until the end of your playthrough. You don't actually need Hattori as a smith because you can unlock the rune right and you don't need to unlock Hattori when this is like a level 24 quest but you actually don't need Hattori until level 34. By that time you should be at the quest level of the rune right and the rune right is a master armor and smith and then you can also enchant your master level witcher gear, not just get it built. Also master smiths in Toussaint. So if you go to Toussaint and open up the map there, then you'll have access to master smiths and armorers. I'm gonna leave the Hattori Swords and Dumplings quest in Novigrad until the end of your playthrough, and then you can do this XP farming strategy. It involves giving an Axie dialogue to this dwarf, then running away until the quest resets, then going back to Sucris, the guy that's helping you, Hattori's bodyguard, spamming the space bar so you don't have to listen to the dialogue again, running back to the dwarf, spamming the space bar so you don't have to do the dwarf's dialogue, and then hitting the Axie again for another 40 XP. Then run away. I like running up this road by the golden sturgeon until the quest resets and tells me to run to Sucris again, then run to the dwarf, get your 40 XP, run away, go to Sucris. Run to the dwarf, get your 40 XP, run away, go to Sucris. The Axie loop takes me less than two minutes, about a minute and 40 seconds. So I think 2,000 XP per hour is a conservative estimate. You probably could get that down. Other late game strategies for getting XP is, of course, you want to clear all the abandoned sites and clear out all the monster nests. You get a fixed XP for clearing abandoned sites, which is over 100, between 100 and 200, and then you get 20 for monster nests. There's a limited number of those. Doing all that will probably only get you one level of your playthrough without a glitch. These Axie dialogues, you need at least a level 2 Axie. I had a level 3 Axie. Uh, if your level 2 Axie doesn't work, then just make sure you put the level 3 Axie in the active character slots. So happy mind control. This channel covers fantasy TV shows such as The Witcher, Netflix, Game of Thrones and its spin-offs, and The Lord of the Rings. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you get these great tips about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Your favorite XP farming strategies. Put them down in the comments.